Hi friends, this is a game between Larissa Furujo and Hikaru Nakamura. It's not typical chess analysis. This game, this analysis, this discussion is mostly related to maybe conspiracy theory, if you want to put it that way. So I want to analyze based on time um, uh, stamps. What happened in the game between Larissa Furujo? As you can see, uh, the result is Hikaru winning. But let's see how this win happened actually. Uh, interesting part is that Ali Reza plays uh, his first six moves in one minute, literally one minute, every move like uh, 10 seconds. So, retreats the ninth, um, brings the bishop, or typical Sicilian, uh, and goes in with the knight, centralizes the rook. So far, Ali Reza spends 30 minutes for first nine ten moves it's okay takes with the knight and here alirza thinks for just five minutes to damage his structure and go for a blood okay all good uh, you intentionally chose this and uh, you have a reason for that and perhaps you already analyzed it in with the engine before that right i mean this is not very uncommon move actually it's somehow even common in uh, Sicilian Neidorf. Anyways, goes backward and look at this position. Alirez spends 20 minutes to play knight e7. You say, okay, he thought very deep to make a plan. Okay, what plan? To make another 15 minutes, to spend another 15 minutes to play the next move. Okay, how is it possible? You take with 5 minutes, you take g7, f6, and then 20 minutes, knight, e7, 20, uh, 15 minutes, bishop takes, bishop. Okay, let's go forward. And this move played relatively fast. And notice that this is a pawn move, pawn break. And... It means that he really planned, right? But you don't play pawn breaks fast. You may play with pieces fast, but not pawn break. So, and takes, and then uh, here takes, brings the queen away. He kind of plays very practical. Uh, look at time span, tempo of Hikaru. One minute, two minutes each move. And here again, this knight, do you remember? He spent 20 minutes on this knight. No, another 20, 10 minutes, around 10 minutes for this knight to move to f5. Okay. Just 30 minutes for single knight. And knight's moves are relatively easy at the start of the opening because you just want to you know, you centralize the knight and that's it. Hikaru again spends one minute to make a move and Alireza spends six minutes. That's very, that's very, that's quite obvious. A queen should uh, leave this file, right? And then it's better to leave with the attack, right? Attacking the C pawn. <coughs> you don't want to put the queen on E6. Or you don't want to exchange queen by playing queen B5. Where else he was going to put the queen who spent six minutes for that? Okay. Six minutes for that. And then he got a push. And again here, just bringing the bishop out. Okay, you want to castle? You had to think about it long before, not now. That you should play like many moves. 23 moves from now to reach the time control and you have just 27 minutes. Brings the rook to the center, castles, brings the other rook, centralize the rooks. And then for this pawn push, again, I spends uh, six minutes. Okay, you say that finally here this guy thought about it, made a pawn push, and then he knows what he's doing, right? Hikaru makes a mistake, pushes the pawn, Hikaru spends some time. Here... Uh, the position is somehow clear. You thought about this pawn push. You have a reason for that. Continue. Continue your uh, queen side attack. Instead, he plays bishop f8. Why? To stare at this pawn? 
to look at this bone for the rest of the game? Why? These are like crazy. I mean, just simply push uh, a5. Stop the white from pushing and defending his own pawn with the pawn, cementing the pawn on c4. It's uh, on c5. It's not very difficult to see the, in such moves. But again, he immediately plays, almost immediately plays this move. I, I have no clue why, why he's playing that bad. And uh, the game continues a little bit forward. And again, here, uh, for example, he is down on time. I spent eight minutes to play queen e4. I mean, uh, queen e4 is very natural because prevents um, white's queen to come in with check. It's very natural. What else do you want to do? Okay. And game continues a little bit further. I don't discuss uh, about it too much. This is a completely lost game and this is a blunder. And for this blunder, he sold four minutes. And he could simply converts the game by bringing the rook in and next move is basically me. Firuja gives up a rook and then resigns. Yeah, tell me why a super GM should play like 1500 level and even worse, a super GM should have a very awful time management. How could it be possible? He should spend that much time for some simple decisions and some simple decisions and at the end he didn't make the greatest decisions but whatever shit you want to do then do it on time okay that was it see you next time bye